It's so important to make someone happy. Make just one someone happy. Make just one heart to heart you. You sing to one. Bill is a character. He enjoys life. He is smart, uh, very clever, very much a gentleman, but also very mischievous. Bill is wonderful on many fronts. Um, he is a great thinker. He's very, um, he's very flexible. He's not afraid of a new idea. Smart, personable, engaging, stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. <laughs> Part of the reason he gets things done is because he won't let go of a point. But that's okay, because it's usually he who has the right point. He's elegant. Um, he's, uh, he's very bright. Uh, he's highly skilled. He's uh, what I would call a kind of a complete leader in that sense. He's got that warm hand that will lead you where you need to go, and you're very confident in where you're going. And you will be happy too. It's very clear Our love is here to stay He became a board member shortly after he retired from Brown Foreman, then took on the acting CEO role, and has since continued to be chair of the board. So his stamp on the parks movement in Louisville has been enormous. And people don't know about it, but they should. Something a lot of people don't know about Bill Juckett is that he really is a founder of the 21st Century Parks Project, the Parklands of Floyd's Fork, and uh, he doesn't always get as much credit as he should for that. We've had the pleasure of traveling with Bill and Barbara domestically and internationally, and what's always kind of fun is when we pass a park area or a public space, Bill pauses no matter what we're discussing, where we're going, what we're doing, and he stops and he takes it in, and then he'll say, do you realize how lucky we are to have the Olmstead Parks in Louisville? What a great resource for this community to enjoy. Anytime, anyone, anywhere can come to our parks and have green space. And he does that everywhere he goes. You go to Cherokee, you go to Shawnee, you go to Seneca, any of the large parks in particular, uh, you have to be impressed with what's happened with those parks and how much more inviting they are today than they were 15 or 20 years ago. And that has a lot to do with people working hard at the Olmstead Parks Conservancy. I think it has a lot to do with Bill's leadership in that cause. The Conservancy is what it is today, thanks mostly to Bill Juckett. He has set the goals, set the standard, not willing to take second best, made sure that the Conservancy does what its mission is, to restore, enhance, and preserve the parks, which are Louisville's greatest asset. The thing I like about Bill is that he, he's very steady on the objectives and doesn't seem to be easily distracted. The first no for Bill is just really an encouragement for him to continue on. Sometimes it's easier to give in. Right, right. I might suggest <laughs> to people just say if you have, if you find yourself in that position and Bill comes to visit with you and talk about the work that the Conservancy is doing, go ahead and say yes because he's going to get you eventually. Oh, I love this here. Bill is one of the kindest, most thoughtful, considerate people I know. He's just a terrific man, and I think it's wonderful that the Conservancy is honoring him at this tribute because there's no one who deserves it more. We'll um, miss your leadership, but we'll keep your friendship and your support. Bill is one of those people who uh, time and age don't really matter to him. You know, he keeps going after life, and. Uh, he keeps doing fun things, he keeps doing interesting things. That's how he built a whole second career in the parks world. Bill has led a very superb life. Bill's a friend. 
I've liked him for 53 years now, and I'll continue to like him very much. He's, he's been a part of my life. He has left behind him uh, an incredible legacy of his fingerprint on just about everything good that we can think about that's happened in this city. I love him. I think everybody in this room loves him, but I have a really special love for him, thanks to all the guidance he has given me over the years. I think we're just lucky that uh, people like Bill Juckett are here and are willing to, to make the sacrifice and do the kinds of things that make Louisville a better place. I want to say thanks to Dad because he's given me and my family and my brothers and their families some incredible um, opportunities and lessons and adventures and stories. And I want to thank Bill for what he's done for the Conservancy and for this community. It is that he is at the Conservancy, but it's beyond that. It really is a community gift that he's he has given all of us. And and I appreciate him for everything that he's done. <laughs>